In today's video, we will reveal how Yukihiro completely fooled Pen and Teller with his extremely beautiful magic act and impossible illusions. Let's do a quick rewind of what happened in the performance. Yukihiro started off the performance by displaying a wine glass in which he made a playing card appear out of nowhere. He then lit a matchstick and turned the playing card red, and immediately teleported the card into his hand. After placing the wine glass on the table, he made another card appear from behind the glass, and performed a sequence in which he produced multiple different colored cards in his right hand. He once again vanished the red card from his hand, teleported it into the glass, and with a wave, turned all the cards red. He then fanned a packet of white cards out, which he dropped, reproduced a red card fan and made a second wine glass appear. He continued producing different colored cards out of thin air and changed the card inside the glass at the same time. With a wave of his hand, he suddenly vanished the wine glass. For the finale he turned the red card in the glass white, and simultaneously lit a match. And ended the performance by vanishing the card and blowing out the match stick. Before I get down to the reveal, I want to give a special shout out to my elite patrons who joined the $30 tier this month. Anti-Wave Podcast, Dan Sullivan, Greg Winter, Hina Mazarudin, Lendor the Magnificent, and Steve Kirsch. Now I would like to give a shout out to my first class patrons. And last but not least, here is a shout out to my super patrons. Your support is the reason I am able to improve my content and upload more regularly. We will reveal this act in two phases, first we will analyze the performance and then I will explain in detail. When he initially began the performance, we noticed something protruding from the center of the wine glass. We already know that a playing card will appear afterwards in the glass, but this object looks nothing like a playing card and appears to be black in color. The wine glass looks very odd in its dimensions from the top. In this frame, we see that the rim of the wine glass is curved from the front, but we don't see the curve all the way around the glass. The wine glass appears to have a portion missing. Before Yukihiro attempts to produce the playing card in the glass, an invisible string can be spotted, it appears to be connecting to the black protruding object. You'll also notice when he lights a match, it does not look like an ordinary matchstick. Yukihiro then accidentally flashed the palmed cards here due to bad camera angle. We then spot his left hand fingers doing something fishy in order to change the card color. It's obvious the movement of his right thumb caused the card to change in color, but how exactly was it executed is the real question. Let's see what Penn had to say about Yukihiro's performance, was that you were using a mirror glass. Were you using a mirror glass? According to Penn, Teller guessed Yukihiro was using a mirror glass. Upon confirmation from Yukihiro, he denied using such props in his illusion. No, I don't use mirror glass. Penn then gave a second guess that Yukihiro was using black art. Were you using black art? Yukihiro opposed using black art too. No. Were you twisting the glass? Uh, no, no twist. Penn's final guess was that he was twisting the stem of the wine glass, which Yukihiro denied as well. Penn gave up and admitted it fooled him. Would you please tell him as clearly and succinctly as you can that he has fooled us? <laughs> now before we move further into the explanation, I have an offer you won't want to miss out on. If you enjoy these magic reveals and want in-depth understanding of any trick, or even entire magic acts, and would like dedicated explanation videos upon your request on this channel, consider joining my $30 tier on Patreon. For those who join my $10 tier, you get to request the explanations for 3 different tricks per month. Consider visiting my Patreon and see which tier suits the best for you. You can also support this channel by liking this video and subscribing. I would really appreciate your support. Now let's get back to the explanation. I will now explain this incredible card trick in detail. When Yukihiro initially started off the performance, this small black colored object was the playing card that appears in the glass. We first need to understand the engineering behind how this gimmicked wine glass works. Let's start with the structural design of the card. This Ace of Hearts playing card is a flap card, which has a crease over here, along which it folds. The flap works like this, to reveal the red colored Ace of Hearts playing card. Here is how the flap looks like when it is completely closed. In this comparison, you can see the black object really was the folded flap when it's closed. You may be wondering, didn't Yukihiro deny using black art to perform this illusion? Well, it wasn't merely the fact that black art was used that fooled Penn and Teller. Penn and Teller in reality didn't have any clue how the card flap mechanism even worked. According to the rules of the show, 
Penn and Teller are required to share their guesses with a judge's backstage who is familiar with exactly how the magician performs their trick. When Penn and Teller discuss their guesses with the judges, the judges inform them that their theories were too vague to be accepted as the explanation for Yukihiro's performance. As a result Penn was requested to openly ask the magician what their incorrect guesses were. Let's get back to the flap card design. The folded card is positioned such that it is laying horizontally along its length. You may be wondering, isn't the wine glass too small for the folded card to lay horizontally? To answer this question, I want you to recall how the top of the wine glass seemed odd in shape. As you see in this frame, this wine glass actually has the back half of its head missing. The second wine glass is gimmicked very much like this first wine glass, but has a slight variation, which I will address in a moment. Now to execute the illusion of making a playing card appear disappear and change color inside the wine glass. Yukihiro created an invisible elastic thread mechanism to perform this. He used a total of two invisible elastic threads and one metallic piece of wire. The two invisible elastic threads had two separate functions. This was to make the card appear and disappear, by pulling the thread with his left thumb, he produced the playing card inside the wine glass. To vanish the card, the second invisible elastic thread on the right side, pulled the playing card down from its vertical position to its horizontal position, while at the same time folded the card up. This piece of wire can be spotted in this frame right before the color change of the playing card, and right after the playing card change. This wire should not be confused with the invisible elastic thread, it can be distinguished due to its rigid shape in this frame. This metallic wire acted like a lever to move the flap from one side to another. In order to help you understand the lever mechanism, you can see in this diagram in the magician's point of view, the flap is right here and the metallic wire is shaped in this design as you can see. The point of rotation of this wire is along the y-axis. By pushing this end of the wire towards your right side with your left thumb, rotating it in the clockwise direction, causes the flap to move from the left side to the right side. In order to vanish the red card from inside the wine glass, he simply pulled onto the second invisible elastic thread causing it to fold and lie horizontally. The card that appeared inside his right hand is not a single card. Rather a small packet of cards that he pulled out from inside his coat pocket while taking out the matchstick looking gimmick. In order to perform the multiple card production sequence, he actually held onto five cards in his right hand. From those five cards, he pulled one red card from the top, and held the remaining cards in his right hand in a tenkai palm which we can see him adjusting in this frame. He then made the remaining four cards appear behind the wine glass while holding all of them together in between his thumb and index finger. This sleight of hand move he is about to perform is called a roll down sequence, which is used in card manipulation. Basically, he peels one card from the bottom of the packet with each finger of his right hand. All four cards are double backed with red faces. We even spot one of the card having a red back at this moment as he flips it around. To teleport the red card from left to his right hand, he simply flips the red card over behind his arm, to reveal the yellow back. The red card in his left hand is appearing and disappearing by extending and closing his fingers. This red card is then flipped over to turn green. He vanished the red card from his fingers by pushing it back into the packet. He made it reappear inside the wine glass by pulling the invisible thread, which can be seen clearly right here. Now to turn all the cards red, all he had to do was flip his hand, by doing so all the red backs are now visible to us. He then produced another packet of white playing cards which he fanned. This packet was not taken out of any pocket, it was actually sitting in plain sight. The sides of this packet were colored with a black marker, therefore, they were not visible on the table at a distance. He held onto the packet under the wine glass. This thick packet contained two sets of cards. The first set contained white playing cards, which he spread very carefully. After dropping all the white playing cards, he held the remaining packet of red cards in a tenkai palm before reappearing them. To produce the second wine glass, we notice him tilting his body to his left and reaching for the wine glass in his inner left coat backside which he held at an angle and produced upon dropping the red playing cards. In order to execute the three card color change. The mechanism of the wine glass was very much similar to the first wine glass, but an important mechanism that utilized the invisible elastic thread was missing, which was the ability to make the card appear and disappear. This second wine glass has a flap card. Each flap is attached with three different wires. These wires work exactly the same way as in the first glass. Now comes the most mind boggling trick of this routine. How was he able to produce multicolored packets of cards inside his empty hands? Well, 
The mechanism works such that a black colored wire is connected to the front of the coat, and the other end of the wire is connected to the packet, which is magnetically attached to the backside of his coat. If you were to see Yukihiro's backside, you would see two packets postured here, and here. We can even spot in slow motion the packet slowly appearing from behind his coat. The green color playing cards are the ones he initially fanned, the white card packet is right behind this very top green flap card. This white packet is held together once again by a magnet, so that when he fans the green cards, he doesn't accidentally flash the white cards behind the green packet. In order to vanish this second wine glass, he placed it underneath his right armpit, and allowed the glass to drop into his hand where he caught and placed it in his right back pocket, which we can spot him doing in this frame. At the same time, he reached for the self-igniting match stick gimmick from underneath the right side of his coat. While igniting the match stick, his left thumb spun the wire counterclockwise this time, to turn the card white. If you have made it this far into the video be sure to hit the like button, and also consider subscribing, I would really appreciate the support. Consider checking out my Patreon and subscribe to whichever tier suits you, and as always, have a nice day.